Good morning and welcome to a morning cup of Kathleen. I'm your host Kathleen and I've got a treat for you today. Here with me is Mark Mathias and I'm going to ask him some questions about television production and a little bit about yourself and your history with it. And let's see, first can you tell me a little bit about yourself? I'm Mark Mathias. Yeah, I teach television production here at Western. Been in the industry a long time. How long? I've been in media for 41 years. That's a long time. It is. Do you, how long do you plan on staying in the industry? Are well, you over it yet? <laughs> I'm not quite over it because it's changed a lot since I've been in it. And I think I'll stick it out for a little while longer. Well, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. So, as you know, TV production has changed a lot over the past, I would say, 10 to 20 years, even like within the past five years. How can someone get ahead of everyone else to try and be ready for this change? Well, unfortunately, you're probably already behind. <laughs> uh, graduating college, you're probably uh, five or six years behind those people that are in junior high and high school creating video on platforms that you aren't using because you're using technology that uh, we're teaching you. So uh, just like the Academy Awards last night where they were using their little Samsungs to send their uh, selfies. Oh, all the that selfies. Is, that is... <laughs> That is the future. Mm -hmm. That is very true. So we're going to move on to a certain topic I want to discuss, which is the Olympics this year. Mm -hmm. So this is the first year that they use drones for cameras to get you know unique looks and everything. Um, do you think this will change how events will be covered from now on? Oh, most assuredly. There's always been technology increases for every high-profile sporting event or activity that's going to be broadcast. So. The drones uh, will probably, they work well in Russia, but in the United States, the FAA uh, and the FCC don't actually get along very well. Mm -hmm. So they will probably not be allowed in a lot of the venues for security reasons. Uh, so in Russia, it wasn't that big a deal because they had their iron curtain around it. But uh, even though they do give you a really interesting look, uh, you've seen the commercial where they uh, deliver a six pack or a 12 pack of beer by drone. That's not going to be allowed in the United yeah, States. Yeah, I doubt that that would work out very well. Um, so let's see. Based on that, what do you think the job outlook is for live event production because it will start being controlled by an operator behind a computer? Well, somebody still needs to make the decisions. And even though a camera operator may be operating a flying platform for a camera, there still has to be a director and a producer to actually call the shots. Uh, it takes a lot of concentration because you probably have one person flying the drone and another one actually operating the camera. So you think it's simpler, but you're actually adding a lot more complexity because of the signals being sent wireless. Yeah, well, that makes sense. So, all right, well, the drones were able to get camera angles that obviously weren't possible to get before. Do you think it made a big difference? in the Olympics and uh, everything? Or? Not particularly. Uh, I think the Olympic Games have run their course. Um, they have become so commercialized that it's taken away the spirit of the sport and has made it all about the, the money. The money is still there, but it, uh, they'll probably, hate to say it, they'll probably be uh, Hunger Games that will be televised. And if you watch those movies, we're getting real close to doing that. That does not sound fun. It does not, no. because we need more and more <laughs> to, to stimulate our senses. And uh, obviously, we'll have a lot more camera and, and animation, like, uh, the you know, movie Gravity. We will, we will have virtual reality. Mm -hmm. And once we have virtual reality, then there is no more reality. That's true. And Gravity actually won a lot of awards last night. Certainly, the Oscars, and so uh, well, well worthy of it, too. I did not want to watch it all. Now I kind of want to. I thought it looked dumb. But... <laughs> Apparently it's really good, so I won't say anything. Um, so how do you think the production value of the Olympics compares to events such as like, you know, award shows like the Oscars and the Super Bowl and stuff like that? Well, it's, uh, the Academy Awards is definitely a uh, structured program. They can actually test what's going on. The Olympics is the same way where they know that the signal's coming in, but there's always that element of a fall or somebody not doing well. Um, unfortunately, in this country, the Olympics are always an edited package. We never really get to see it live. Mm -hmm. And uh, live camera work and live television production is, to me, uh, the most exciting work that you can do in the industry. Would you say doing live or pre-recorded? Well, knowing that somebody can always save it later, uh, you don't have the same element of spontaneity mm -hmm. and uh, oops factor of, well, we lost it. it. Nobody will ever see it. So. Well, that makes sense. 
Well, thank you for joining us today, Mark. And you guys tune in tomorrow because we've got an interview with Jack Jones about movie production on A Morning Cup of Kathleen. Have a great day.